Hey, this is Kevin from Breakdance. In this video, we're going to go over how to use WooCommerce data points within your design. To get started, we're on the single product template. We'll start by looking at some of the image options. You can add an image element to the page, and if you click the dynamic data button, you'll see the dynamic data pop up. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see several WooCommerce options, product image and product gallery. The product image option will get the featured image of the product and show it. If you click on options, you can see you can select which product you'd like to display. But since we're already viewing a product, it defaults to that product automatically. You can also choose the product gallery option, which will allow you to choose which image within the index you would like to display. You can also use a gallery element to display the product images. Once you click the dynamic data button and click the product gallery data point, you will see that the product featured image as well as the product gallery images show. You can then choose to modify the layout to design it however you'd like. If you click the product gallery data point, you'll see that there is an option to select the product and also an option to exclude a product image. So this will display only the product gallery images and not the featured product image. Let's now look at some of the different text data points that are available. We will click the dynamic data button and open up the dynamic data pop-up and scroll down to the WooCommerce section. We can then choose a variety of different options such as product description. And we can choose if we want the long description or the short description. We can do the same with the product price and choose which price we'd like to show. We can do the same with the rating. So if we change the product rating to show just the rating, we'll see that it shows four. We can do the rating count, the review count. We can choose whether or not to show that the product is on sale and the text for that. We can select the product SKU. We can select the product stock and change the text of the stock status. We can select our product terms. And again, you'll select the product the taxonomy you'd like to display, such as product categories or product tags. And you can display the product title. For URL fields, the only data point available is the product image URL. This is because you can just use the post permalink to link to the product itself. Next, we're going to go over the dynamic data options available for loop elements. Let's add a post list element to our layout. We'll then go down to query choose a custom query, and then open the query builder. We see we can choose the product post type. And if we choose the related source, we see we can select different WooCommerce taxonomies to display products related to that taxonomy. 